Well, hello everyone. Um, good morning. Um, today is Wednesday and uh, we are having a bit of an interesting morning because of the, I don't know, what shall we call it? The Minky D's incident um, yesterday. So um, I um, just uh, did my measurements, my morning measurements, uh, blood pressure and metabolism. And my blood pressure was good, uh, 122 over 77. And um, interestingly, my lumen, so my metabolism, is burning 85% fat. So uh, a measurement of a one out of five, so the best that it could be. Um, and so, interesting. What does that mean? Should we have Mickey D's for lunch every day? Um, but uh, now we're going to do another measurement. We're going to see where our weight is. So let's get this going and um, yeah, just face the truth. All right. So again, first thing we do is we take the hair down and we take off our shorts. And let's see, let's just do it. Let's just get it over with. One thirty nine eighty five. So we went down a little bit. This guy is tricky because it's hard to get on it. And it's, you know, balance oneself. What? This is, I don't know, this is weird. It's like, how do I know? It gives me the, the same one, but it's just like until you're like... Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. 139.85. So what is that in pounds? Just remember, that's kilos, so that's not... Um, so, 130, what? Oh, hold on. Kilos, two pounds. Let's figure this out. 139.85. All right, we went down a bit. 308.3. And the 308.3 is uh, 308.3, right? 308.3, it's down, yeah. We were 309.7 yesterday, 308.3, so 1.4 pounds, okay. Good, well, again, this guy, I'm going to be as bold as to say that it's not quite as accurate as our fancy one at home. I mean, not, not, not to take anything, anything away from it, but it's a little bit smaller, hard to get on it and stuff. And so let's just say that we're using it for general trend purposes. So what I'm thinking that we're gonna do is we will take all our measurements and then just compare the average week after week. And that way we're gonna get a much closer, more ideal measurement um, for what our weight is actually doing. And I was going to measure uh, with the suit, with the crazy suit today, but uh, we woke up a little late and I'm running a little bit behind and then we gotta go to this lunch thingy. And so, did I mention that? that? We got, oh yeah, I think I mentioned yesterday. So I'm gonna have my eggs for breakfast and um, then we'll see what lunch is. And um, yeah, so I won't, sorry, I get so distracted, it's hard. 
I'm not going to be measuring with my crazy with my Zozo suit today um, because uh, we don't I don't have enough time. So, all right, see you guys in a bit. Okay, well <clears> here <throat> we are, breakfast of champions. Uh, so we have our three fried eggs. Uh, we're only doing half an arepa because that's all we had. So we split it with the lima. Uh, I put some uh, black pepper um, and some oregano on the eggs this morning just to um, change the flavor profile a little bit. I'm thinking that I want to do other kinds of eggs. Um, see, like two weeks in and I'm starting to get a little tired of uh, a bit of the monotony, so maybe we can do like some scrambled eggs with some other goodies and be able to, I don't know. Uh, but I'm thinking I'm, I want to vary it a little bit. But again, I keep taking to mind a little more um, a comment that one of you guys left me about just coming up with certain meals and just repeat them where, you know, like you just know the macros. And ideally, I want to do that. It's just, you know, having a few variations. That's sort of like what I've been trying to do, just not successfully, I guess. And then um, here we have um, 20 milligrams of Lexapro. We have, I don't know how much, but this is Losartan for my blood pressure. That luckily is improving with this and with medicine and with the, um, you know, better nutrition, I guess, and weight loss. 500 milligrams of um, metformin for um, blood, uh, for blood, for blood sugar. Um, and then this is vitamin D that uh, Julie and I bought and we're doing. So we start with this, the same as every morning. And yeah, I'm thinking I want to vary this a little bit, just, you know, make it slightly more, I don't know, I just feel like if we add a few things, I keep wanting to add like some bacon or something like that, it just, of course I read one fucking thing about saturated fats and now I'm like, oh, so. Oh shit, it's hard. There's so much information out there and you never know what to make of any of it. And so that's, and I'm so, like in that way, like one thing can throw me off in so much. So, it's just, anyway. All right, let me have my breakfast and um, I will see you guys for lunch a little later. Hey guys, so, um, lunch was interesting. Um, this is what I had, and it's, um, it's a very traditional Argentinian soup called locro. Um, and it's got a bunch of stuff in it. I don't really know exactly, like, everything that goes in it, but, you know, there's, like, some corn, some peas, some beans, um... There's some chorizo in there, some meat, different kinds of meat. Um, I think it's mostly made with pork, but I don't know. There's even some like tripe in there. Um, and so, um, you know, uh, not bad. Uh, the only thing is that I did end up having two bowls of that. And so, feel like I might have might have overeaten a little bit and then of course I was very lethargic the whole afternoon and then we get home and just really didn't feel like doing anything the whole day just ended up being like Tony and I were talking when we got home feeling like we didn't do shit and we're so exhausted and so um yeah that was basically it that's what we ended up doing um, for the entire day, nothing. <laughs> just we ate and then kind of uh, sat around in the afternoon and just talked. And um, by the time we got home, we were both exhausted. And we watched a movie and went to bed. So it's interesting. Um, but yeah, nothing more to report. We keep at it. And so we'll see how this affects us tomorrow. So 
Um, yeah. See you tomorrow. <laughs>